Hello. Uh, this lecture I delivered in the 10th in Shams University conference that took place uh, in March 2022. The title of the speech is the role of the uh, faculty for graduate studies and environmental research to spread awareness of environmental problems. The slides will be in Arabic, but the whole presentation will be in English. The idea revolves about a series of training sessions on climate change, on rationalization of using water in Egypt, on the sustainable development goals and its relation to environment, and the water energy food nexus. In all of these training courses, uh, the trainer gives an idea about the relation of the subject of the training and it, the new republic and the mega national projects in Egypt. The training course took uh, a duration of three days and the lecturers come from different disciplines. Since the faculty of graduate studies and environmental research have seven departments covering the areas of engineering, medicine, economy, education, uh, social sciences, and basic sciences. Uh, in every of these uh, training courses, there is a workshop where we divide the trainees into groups to work together to prepare a mind map about the relation of the subject to their everyday activities related to environment, related to uh, mega projects or sustainable development goals. And especially if, if there is uh, an element that has to do with uh, green transformation, because this is one of the main topics uh, covered by, by the faculty and how they apply what they learn to improve uh, their working environment. After the, during the workshop, the trainer discusses with the groups their, the relation of the material he presents with environment and with Egyptian strategy 2030 and the sustainable development goals. During the group work, every group has a, a, a copy of the articulation of the uh, goals, the targets and the indicators in Arabic. So that when they compile their mind map, they use the targets and the indicators with their names in the document, which is a translation of the United Nations document in English. As you can see, there are different people who attended this series of trainings coming from Al-Azhar University, coming from uh, the Ministry of Endowment and the uh, Agency for Adult Education. They come from non-governmental organizations. They come from the Ministry of Youth. And there was a, a special uh, session made for the staff of the faculty who are the, the young colleagues who will take over uh, in, in, in a very few years to come. We start with the uh, Azhar University. We went in person to the premises of Azhar University and the trainees were a combination of uh, faculty members and administration officers. They, they, they did a great work and they, they have a lot of interesting discussions. And I had the opportunity, of course, to discuss with every group uh, to see what is their point and how they present it in a, in a mind map. Then we go to the Ministry of Endowment and they came to the premises of the In Shams University at the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Environmental Research. And also they come from different backgrounds, 
of course, related to the Ministry of Endowment. And to my surprise, they have very good background about environmental issues. I think they have uh, in their workplace training courses and they do a lot of field work related to environmental and other societal problems. Then we went to the premises of the organization or the agency for adult education, which is the agency responsible for eradication of illiteracy. And here the audience are different. Most of them uh, are university graduates. Uh, most of them also have PhD degrees in different disciplines. They have beautiful campus over there. And talking with them was a real pleasure because they have a lot of experience, especially in their area of expertise, which is uh, eradication of illiteracy and, and adult education. We give them the opportunity to present their work. And in this particular session, the head of the agency decided to join us, Dr. Ashur, uh, who comes from the Faculty of Education at Ain Shams University, a very young uh, manager who really likes his job and, and wants to make uh, a lot of successes uh, during his uh, work at the agency. As you can see, this group is full of uh, uh, ladies. They were very active. And you can see they split the document I gave them so that they can inspect certain uh, goals and certain targets and certain indicators and use them in the presentation. As you can see here, this is the main idea about uh, eradication of poverty. And these are the uh, indicators. Can you can see one, five, four, and they, uh, write the articulation and they even comment on the relation of the indicator to the local conditions in Egypt. Very interesting work. Then we go to another interesting group, which is non-governmental organizations. And these people also come from different places. Some of them are uh, secondary students, secondary schools. Some of them are still in the university. Some of them are graduates, uh, a lot of uh, education and uh, age ranges. They worked also on, on different subjects related to everyday activity, and they come up with a beautiful mind maps, and they have to post it on the wall so that when we discuss each group's output, uh, everybody is around and we open a, a discussion where everybody can comment and ask. Then we go to the Ministry uh, of Youth, and these are all young people. Some of them are uh, university students, some of them graduated. And as you can see, most of the population uh, are from our women. There are some men here and they were talking about education and, and how uh, it, it, it is seen from their own from their own point of view and again using the indicator numbers in the document. This is a group photo with the members from the Ministry of Youth. The last group was uh, support staff at the uh, Faculty of uh, Graduate Studies and Environmental Research. They are very active young uh, people coming from seven departments, and I had the chance to, to discuss because I work with them all the time because they help me in other courses and they can make a very good instructors in the future. The coming series of slides talk about the new republic. They talk about Egyptian national mega projects, the Egyptian strategy 2030 and the sustainable development goals. I am going to give only three examples at three different uh, initiatives and projects from the Egyptian side. Uh, the first is the Decent Life Initiative. The second is the new administrative capital. And the third is the improvement of the railway networks. For the initiative of Decent Life, this is the advertisement. 
it's a big, big project and it has uh, a lot of pillars like uh, decent housing, infrastructure, medical services, educational services, uh, economic empowerment, interventions related to society development and, and uh, human development. And the last pillar is uh, environmental interventions. I use myself Matryoshka here, uh, where Matryona means lady in Russian. It's a it's a it's a Russian doll to show the hierarchy of the subject we are talking about. We have two hierarchies here. One of them uh, about the uh, Egyptian strategy 2030 because it has three dimensions. 10 pillars, a lot of indicators and a lot of projects. And because of the nature of the uh, initiative of Decent Life, uh, we will talk on the second level, which is the pillars, the 10 pillars of, of the uh, strategy of Egypt. We found overlap of the Decent Life strategy with the first pillar on economic development, the sixth pillar which has to do with health, the seventh, which has to do with education and training, and the ninth, which is which has to do with uh, environment. Here is a, a, an infograph showing the relation of a decent life initiatives with the 17th sus, uh, de sustainable development goals. You can see here that it overlaps with poverty, with uh, health, with education and even with peace and, and justice. The second project is a new administrative capital. Here is a photograph of the new capital under still under construction. And here we are not going to talk at the level of pillars. We are going to talk at the lowest level, which is the national projects. Here the uh, establishment of the new administrative capital is number two uh, on a very long list of the national projects in the economic development uh, dimension. Here, as you can see, we have three dimensions, economic, environmental, and uh, societal. And in each di dimension, there is pillars and, uh, and projects. Because it's number two, this sunburst infograph shows the location of the new administrative capital in the 77 uh, national uh, projects related to the uh, economic dimension. Here we go to the uh, sustainable development goals. We will find that the administrative capitals appears in the goals in the targets and in the indicators. Again, it's it is uh, it's number eleven here, which is smart cities. And in the uh, the the goal eleven says that making cities and human in uh, human living environments integrated and it includes everybody, it is safe and it is resilient and sustainable. We go for uh, target 11.1 and we will read part of the articulation of 11.2, which is providing the, the access of everybody to transportation means that is safe, accessible and uh, affordable and uh, sustainable. And we go to one of the indicators, which is a percent of inhabitants that have access to public transportation suitable according to uh, age, sex, and the handicapped uh, element uh, members of the society. Then we come to the third project, which is improvement of the uh, Railway network in Egypt. This is this can show you how intricate uh, the network is, where you can 
reached by train most of the uh, places in Egypt, starting from the Mediterranean coast, the Red Sea coast, and Upper Egypt. This is one of the locomotives uh, recently imported to improve the network. And here we are talking about the project level. We'll find that uh, improvement of the uh, Egyptian railway network is project number 75. And here it appears uh, in the sunburst infograph. And when we go to the sustainable development goal, we will find again that we are going to talk about uh, goals, targets, and indicators. It goes here. I put it under uh, uh, sustainable development number nine, which has to do with industry and infrastructure. And it is the, the goal nine reads, we have uh, infrastructure that is resilient and we provide, uh, provide incentives for industrialization for everybody and we encourage innovation. Target nine one, we have to have infrastructure that is of good quality, resilient, and uh, reliable, sustainable. And for the indicators, we have 911, which is a percent of the people living in rural areas that live uh, two kilometers from roads that are usable. And 912, which number of passengers and the number of uh, industrial products according to transportation means. I have concluding remarks here. We like to say that uh, the, the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Environmental Research has a role to play uh, in spreading uh, awareness of environmental and national problems or issues. And these training courses is a great opportunity uh, that gives uh, interaction between university and society at different levels, where the trainees come uh, from different age ranges, different education ranges, and they have different employment positions. And these particular training courses in different subjects showed that the trainees, which is, was against my initial impression, have, uh, have access and have some knowledge, background about the problems, environmental problems, and they are capable of working in a group to present their viewpoint that they defended during the discussions, covering uh, several environmental and national problems in Egypt. The continuation of such training courses gives an opportunity to a larger number of trainees to get introduced to the important environmental subjects that uh, like uh, increases with time, especially this year where Egypt uh, is inviting the COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh in November. Uh, and the government has a lot of attention given to the uh, national projects at different levels. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much.